Newton bucket frame dragging effect, Mercury precession, and galactic rotational curves. What all these four uh, phenomena, what they have to, how, how we will connect them? With the introduction of superfluid space as a fundamental energy field of the universe, everything becomes very elegant and clear and connected. So, when the uh, Newton bucket, when the water is rotating, what actually happened? that also the local superfluid space start rotating. When the water is rotating, also superfluid space is rotating. In the same way where our sun is rotating, also the local superfluid space inside of our solar system is rotating. And that's why we have Mercury precession and all other planets, but as Mercury is closest, here precession is, is biggest. And we can imagine now this back at Newton back at as a huge supermassive black, black hole in the center of the galaxy, which we also know they are rotating. And they are rotating also superfluid local space inside the galaxy. That's why we have additional velocity of, of uh, stars that are on the, uh, on the outer part of the galaxies. This is, these are so-called the origin of galactic rotational curves. Like 60, 70 years ago, the idea was born that must be some dark matter somewhere to get. That's why we, we, we observe this result. There is no matter there. <laughs> what actually happened that the superfluid space is, is rotating because black hole inside is rotating. The, the, one of the main problems for basic fundamental physics development is that we have to go beyond the old paradigm. The Einstein paradigm is old. The Einstein paradigm belongs to the 20th century. We are now in the 21st century. And in 21st century, it's clear that there is no space time. For 100 years, we are talking about something that has no physical existence. Time was never for the dimension of space. Time is duration of motion in time invariant space. Okay. And this time invariant space is not empty, as Einstein proposed. This time invariant space is a type of energy. This is the fundamental energy of the universe that was never created and will be never destroyed. And this energy is four dimensional. And in the old times, they call this energy ether. And the ether is interacting with every stellar object and with every physical object. So when the, when the, uh, let's say the, in the bucket, the water is rotating, the wa this water also start rotating the local space. And this was proved. This was scientifically proved by Russian scientist Samokvalov. Yeah. He took a plate, a disc, and he put the disc in the vacuum chamber and he rotated the disc and the disc that was on the top also start rotating. Why? Because the, the first disc, when, when this disc starts rotating, it's the superfluid space starts rotating. That's why Nicholson-Morley experiment gave a, a negative result because the local superfluid space is moving and rotating with the Earth. 
Uh, no, sure, I know that it will be it will be difficult to accept uh, these facts uh, because the, the 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 Einstein relativity is seen as one of the pillars of physics. Good, Einstein did good work, but we have to go on. We have to develop relativity from mathematical theory to physical theory, and this is not possible without introduction of ether. So, these Einstein ideas of uh, that we have a coordinate time, we have a proper time, we have inner observer, outer observer, we have inertial systems, all these are only mathematical tricks. This does not exist in the universe. Relativity can be developed in the way without length contraction, without time dilation. Definitely, clocks have relative rate. But this is this is a valid for all observers. This has nothing to do with the with the inertial system and the observer. So, uh, the main problem is that Einstein relativity has become religion of physics, and uh, and. Uh, if you want to do some progress, you can never publish this in uh, in, in important journal. Uh, so things are very very easy actually. Things are very simple, but nobody want to see this. Nobody is ready to see except a few physicists, that we have to admit that empty space of Albert Einstein was a mistake. Space is energy, and this energy is interacting with the physical object. And every physical object is diminishing energy density of space exactly for the amount of its mass and correspondent energy in its center. This is the extension of the mass-energy equivalence principle on the superfluid space. Thank you very much for your attention. You can check the article where this is written. And if people want to remain blind, <laughs> then we will not have any progress in physics. I, I hope that the day will come that people will open their eyes. <laughs>